Welcome back to Quantum Break. I am Thor's, aka the Time Traveling Superhero. Last episode, we discovered that there is a TV series built into the game. So there's the game portion, and then they cut away to show you an episode of basically a TV series built into this live action. So I kind of mauled this over and I thought, oh boy, I mean, should I show this? I think I'm going to because it's, I, I kind of think it's like part of the game. It's kind of like a little intermission. So I'll provide some commentary. I think for the most part, I'll just kind of let you watch it. Um, but, well, here it is in all its glory. Episode 1, Monarch Solutions. Time's up. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. This is so suspenseful. Okay. Isn't it? I'll do it. Douche. When you see the real actors behind the video game characters, I'm so glad we could work this out. Me too. It sh just shows how great of a job they did with the game. Green screen. A lot of us gamers know about those. Not me so much, never used one. He's a great actor. Everything he's in, like he he's excellent. Liam. Walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. It's like watching a movie with you guys. This is weird. Like, let's just take a break from the game and all watch a TV show together, guys. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy who goes around Stan using the same man. username and password everywhere he goes. Now, 
<laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. Or you can just like <laughs> hack his wow. phone God, and this guy's swinging for the fence. get and access to everything. What is that? That way. Or what? What was what? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Uh, I just Use put it. my drink down right next Tell to my next keyboard. Turner? I don't care. I live dangerously. I that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to the Stan edge. and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's Martin Hatch. What you gonna do? Mr. Hatch. Get ready for an intense Brenner, voice on the other side. We just dug some major dirt on, uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be, uh... He'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Okay, just quiet well, for a second. Joyce, uh, well, I've I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I've hacked into his camera. I'm I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello, me. But I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that more yeah, nice. Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Just... Hmm? Oh, fuck. Give me something. Come on, Joyce. Two hours after a fracture in time. Imagine if we just played this part of the... Like this was part of the game. M? You were a cat. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. Divorce her. But I knew it was you. I'm sure. I'm sure he's just as weird. You work more than any field probably, manager. They're probably the both weird and perfect for each other. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> Okay, is something gonna happen to <laughs> her or something? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Put a lot of focus on this scene. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, this is getting a little weird. I feel weird watching this with you guys. Gonna look away. Can I, can I look okay. again? Okay.
Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. He's he's gonna die before the end of the game. Can I even say game now? What if it's more TV show than game? It, would it become a TV show? What what's the cutoff point? Alan Wake book. I caught that even though I never played the game. This great city, transforming it into Again, it's on my list. Oh, 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 we get a real life version of the time stop slowage. I feel like this little series is working like this is this adds extra dimension to the characters you know gives you a different feel for the whole game slash show so he's is he the one doing it or I thought it was the other guy I, I could not even tell if that was like game or real there. Like, was that? That's real, right? I feel like they intertwined the game in the real life there. Nice rug. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport. It's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Here comes oh. Mr. Intense. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll Always be there intense. and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. I just like his voice. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. What a great voice. Wish that was my voice, don't you? University, where a showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very Imagine violent. Imagine I could do my voice and, and his voice. Was because of Jack. And Joyce. switch it up all the time. And I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. A terrorist. You baking the next sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery. So if we didn't choose that other storyline, we'd be seeing something different. Right here. Someone wow. solved the equation. An interactive TV show. Yeah. And keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. Sup, IT. And you wish I was uh, IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get don't just kind, did throw you? that. Yeah, shouldn't they? Flatten it. It's Manners. colder now. Oh man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Uh everything's 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back. Don't ruin it, dude. So. See you tonight? Yeah. See you tonight. It. Yep. Buddy. I'm not gonna get copyright strike for that music, am I? Two hours after Fracture in Time. I feel like it was two hours last time still. Okay, he was a little less of a douche. Now we get to see his life with his family. When he's on the job, he's a douche, okay? This isn't what it looks like. Uh. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun! I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. Oh, you no. got time jacked! You He's got gone. time jacked. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. <sighs> okay, if you use the word time jacked, time is then you down. owe me money. I just I coined that. And Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 the, the, the end, the end of what? That's the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it. The entire universe gone. Everything, existence, somehow, buddy. Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Three hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. You don't understand, they've just been time jacked. Maybe he had some help? We're unarmed, I was responding I to not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! How? This lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. Okay, I admit I'm starting to like this guy. Closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get? A lot cooler than he did in the seemed in the game version, you know. Getting some three dimension ality. Twenty nine down. Forty more to go. Don't time jack that food. Don't do that. Oh. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Wait. Wait, she did that? Holy. What the heck? Why would you do that? Why? Lambert. Wasted food? Wasted good food? Patch is gonna love this. <laughs> Three hours after a fracture in time. Fucking golden boy. Oh, 
What a waste. Gotcha. A nice chair. Not as comfortable as my chair, though. Charlie! I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere in private? Uh, it'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly. <laughs> Clearly, does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine. Eight. Eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Bluffed. Bluffed. I was looking at some of the this actors. Is, he's on level B near the main overpass. That play the characters of the game in this series. I'm surprised they got a good, strong cast. I was thinking this is a kind of a strong cast for a video game now, I see why. Oh, it's one of those movies, yeah. Kind of a 90s style. Those escalators were not moving a second ago. He's not invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. Fight. Brenner, but I'm dealing. I am. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, he's episode. in the building. Yeah. Oh, whoa. South parking structure. Ever see those South Bruce Lee movies? Fourth floor. Good stuff. Best ever. Well, now we get a car chase scene, too. Nice. Second floor. We've got to cut him off. Can't tell if the cars are really speeding back there or they just sped the film up. Like they sped the film up a little bit there. He said he's south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. This is intense. Come on, you got this. Imagine I was playing this right now. 
not watching. Give me a lost item. Imagine we were able to have movie night like this, like once a week or something. Wouldn't that be awesome? They went all out on this game. Third Street, headed to the alley. Copy that. Like seriously. Gonna be saved. Wow. Owen Wilson, wow. Wow. Okay, guys, that was the end of episode one of. The TV series, apparently. Alright, if you enjoyed that, click that like button, follow us, whatever you want. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, if you just follow us on one, I'll be happy. Alright, if you want the other episodes, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is a little bit different and weird. But anyway, I will see you guys next time at the last arcade. Later.